everyone. This is Angela at Valley Girl Crafting. And I thought that I would try to do something I've never done before. And I've been watching a couple of videos on it that some of the uh, other YouTubers have shown. And these little things here I found at the Dollar Tree. They're really cute. Um, they do light up. It's kind of hard to see. It glares so bad. But they do light up with like a little tea light inside of them. And I have taken wet paper towels. And it talks about um, everybody I've ever seen says wood glue and water. Um, I do not have any wood glue. So I tried all purpose glue and water. And it did harden just like the wood glue does. I don't know how it's going to look. Once it's finished, I may have really messed up on that one. But uh, anyways, I thought I would take a little bit of time and let's try this together and see how it how it ends up. So, um, like I said, what I did is I took a wet paper towel and tore it into little bit pieces. Um, I'd say by one inch by one inch or two inch or whatever. And you put the glue in the water on the base first and then I layered the paper towel over top of it and then put another layer of the glue and water on top of that and then I moved on to each section did the same thing also did it on the top and the rope I just kind of tore a hole in the paper towel and put it down um, to where my rope would still hang through and then on the front I didn't want to cover up this beautiful engraving and you know, I was afraid, depending on what I put on top of it, may not see the light coming through. So that kind of, you know, didn't want to do anything with that. I did put a little piece of paper towel with the stuff right here on both of those little sections. And I did it around the top and the bottom here. Um, I did not go over the lip here because I didn't want it to alter the way it stands up. Um, but anyways, to let you see a little bit, you get so much texture. Kind of reminds me of a mummy at um, Halloween. You get that kind of texture to it. Um, but anyways, I'm going to paint it black. And then once that dries, I'm going to go back through with um, a different color. And I'm just going to kind of, you know, touch it up a little bit and give it some highlight. And I haven't used the glue yet, so it helps if I take the top off of it. I've got my paper towel and I have my thick pa thicker paper here that's going to put a little bit out on there. And I guess I'll start on the back. Put some of my paint on there. And I'm just going to get it in all the little nooks and crannies because we want everything that's white. We don't want anything showing through. And I'm going to pull this in just a little bit so you're able to see a little better. <clears throat> but like I said, I've never done this before. So I've watched several tutorials on it and really wanted to try it. So I'm not going to swear what this is going to look like when I'm done. But, you know, we all have projects that we've done and not been happy with. So, it's not like it'll be <clears throat> the first project I've ever done if it doesn't turn out the right way. And it'll also give me a great idea of maybe what I need to do next go around if I don't like the way it turns out. So, I'm not real worried about that part of it. And sometimes the fun of it is just, you know, diving in, as they say, with both feet. And just kind of see what happens. So I'm just really making sure to get all of this covered. Um, 
like I said, we want it to be really, really dark. And that way, when we go in with a lighter color, it's going to pick up all the folds and all the crinkles and all the, <clears throat> the imperfections that we have created with our paper towel. And I just think this is a really neat idea. I mean, it gives you texture and it gives you dimension and everything out of something as simple as water, glue, and paper towel. And I just think that is just really neat. I mean, I love things that are, you know, simple things, but it just takes everything to a new level. And, you know, I'm new to YouTube. I've been crafting for a while, but, you know, I started out with the scrapbooking as, you know, I'm sure most of you may have, or at least some of you may have. So, this part of the crafting is a little bit different. And, you know, it's, it's new and exciting and a little scary all, all at the same time. But I'm um, use just a little bit more. I don't want to use too much because I don't want to waste it. Um, we can always add a little more each time that we need it. Um, the glue, I mean the glue, the paint that I'm using, I did find it at Walmart. And it was a nice big size. So, um, you know, I thought it was definitely a good deal for the money. I think it was 3 or $4 for, for that big bottle. And like I said, some of these spots on here are a little hard to cover. But if you're like me and you've never done this before, just kind of hang in there and just make sure you get every little nook and cranny. Um, especially on the corners because they do hide a little bit, I'm finding out. And before, oops, stuck that right on the bottom where I said I didn't want to get that. So I'm going to flip it over before I do the top. And I'm just going to get right in that seam right there. And as you can see, it's, when you have all the little folds and stuff, it is a little hard to get everything. But we just keep, keep going. And we're going to get it. So, I'm going to sit this down on the top and hold it like this, I think. Try to keep most of the paint on it and not on me. I do admit I am, by nature, a very messy crafter. And usually if I'm inking, sometimes I think there's more ink on me than I have on the project that I'm working on. So not being a big um, user of the paints like this, I don't really have, you know, any certain way to, to do it. So I'm just slapping it on there. So um, we're just gonna get every little piece. And when I go over this, I'm going to go over it with a sponge dauber-like thing. Um, this little thing right here. And that way, I can just touch the surface and not get down in all the little spaces. But when I saw these little lanterns at the Dollar Tree... You know, it popped in my mind. I thought, man, that, that would be gorgeous. Done like this. Because I have seen so many different things. People are making boxes of, you know, things out of boxes. And doing the, I guess it's air dry clay. And putting it in molds and making all these different little designs and stuff. And they're absolutely beautiful. I mean, some of this stuff looks like it's very expensive and very old the way that, that they're doing it. And I just love that 
that look. Um, I have a really different <laughs> um, style. I love the Shabby Chic, but I also love mixed media. I love the textures. I love everything. So, I just, I, I have just this crazy style where I like to just throw everything together. And, uh, you know, it's kind of funny because um, my sister-in-law scrapped with her a lot, by Mimi with Love. And I know I mention her in about every video I do, but, you know, when you have somebody that you craft with a lot, you have a lot of stories and there's a lot of things that, you know, that you've done. If you craft with somebody, you kind of got to mention them, I guess. Um, but anyways, I love crafting with her. But... <laughs> When we first started crafting together, I would bring stuff in, and she told me, she said, you know, I would be like, what in the world is she going to do with that mess of stuff? And she was like, you know, by the time you got finished, it was like, now, how did she create that out of, out of the materials that she used? And that's where I get that mashing so much different things together to make something out of it that, um, I guess it's kind of a different style than what some people do, but that looks like I've gotten that covered pretty well all over. Um, I do have a second one here, um, so I'm going to go ahead and now that I've kind of done that one, kind of know how it works, and this one should go quite a bit faster. Get this done and then we'll get some of the um, lighter color real quick and we will get it on there but you know like I said if once you do one you kind of get get the hang of it you can tell how much quicker I've done just this one section versus the one I just got done with it's kind of using kid gloves on it because um, I wanted to make sure I didn't mess it up especially doing it on my first tutorial video so um, you know if you guys have um, any suggestions or um, anything that you do you know differently that um, that kind of gets the same results. I'd love for you to leave comments on this video for that. I just think it would really help me and everyone else who watches this video and reads the the comments. You know, especially if it's somebody like me and you're just kind of, like I said, getting into this. But... I do have to admit, this was really fun. It's kind of messy when you start getting everything together, but I think that's kind of some of the fun of it. It's the sim simplicity and the the mess, you know. It's kind of almost like being a kid again, and you kind of get get to play with stuff, and that was the, the paint, by the way, guys. Um, but you kind of get to play almost like playing in the dirt or the mud again, like you did as a kid. And you just kind of get to get dirty <laughs> so there is a little whip all the way around this so when I lay this down it is catching the top and the bottom but it's not catching where it lays on the very back so that's good but yeah this one has gone much quicker than the other one And, you know, it's November and I live in Tennessee here and all the leaves are changing like it is in probably pretty much everywhere else. But we've had plenty of rain this year and we've had a little bit of cold snap already. So we're getting a lot of the really pretty vibrant colors and we hadn't had that in a while. So it's really nice to see 
those colors come back in and you know the fall colors to me are some of the prettiest colors um, to kind of craft with because you get so many different hues from the same kind of color family you know you got your oranges and your reds and your yellows and you know the greens mixed in and I just think that's that's one of the prettier times in the year we don't get a whole lot of snow around here um, I'm not really a snow person you know as a kid everybody wants snow days so you don't have to go to school but um, as I've gotten older I just really don't particularly like the snow um, it's pretty to look at as long as it's not there when I have to go to work but uh, you know it's uh, it is a pretty time of the year and I know a lot of the YouTube people I've seen are in you know Michigan and um, different places like that Minnesota and I know you guys get a whole lot more winter than we do in um, you know New York and places like that so okay so I touched that up I'm going to step right over here and get a different color and let's see how this turns out Um, a little bit of a turquoise color. And of course, I've not used this before either, so shake it up real good. Pour just glob out here. <clears throat> now, this is going to be my. Time to either be happy or cry. <laughs> I'm just going to take and dab. I'm really kind of liking the way that that's working. I mean, it's picking up all the folds and all the blemishes. And, you know, really digging that. Just get a little bit around there. Bits and pieces. I want it to kind of look older. Um, kind of still in that shabby, chicy kind of color. I don't even know if that's a word, but I just used it, so... Um, I don't want to get like a big glob of it anywhere, so I want to kind of just get a little bit on there and maybe rub a little bit just to kind of enhance that color, which I love that. It looks really good. And it really does make it look older like you'd see in some of the other videos, so I'm very happy with that. Um, I'm actually thrilled. Can go back in with a little of my black and then just get some of the highlights there where I see it sticking up really well. That works out great. Definitely where those sections are, I need to emphasize those more because they really make it stand out and give it that dimension that the whole reason we put that paper towel on there now let's see 
as I said, I'll get more on me than <laughs> on the thing. It's inevitable. Okay. So now, when I turn the little light on, you can see the light coming through. And that's really cute. Of course, it's going to glare. And I've got a deep green I may add to this too, um, which I think would be really cute. And I notice I say really cute a lot, and I, I do apologize. I know you guys probably get tired of hearing me say that over and over again. So, um, we're gonna, I'm going to try to to use more ways to explain how something looks other than cute. You know, this just, I think, gives it such a drastic color from the black to the turquoise. I don't know if y'all hear that digging sound, but that is my mini schnauzer. And he is over there digging on the couch. And uh, just making a lot of noise. His name is Bruno. Uh, name him Bruno Mars because he's little. And he'll funk you up. Just like the song. <laughs> Bruno, come here. guys. This is Bruno. Look up here. He is a seven month old mini schnauzer and he is my little sweetie. He goes to work with me every day. So he is, you've probably seen him running around in the floor getting the zoomies. I'm going to grab that green paint real quick. It's just sitting right here on my normal workstation. I just don't have enough room to do the video here too. So I'm going to shake that up a little bit. And it looks light, but I did test some on something the other day. And it does come out quite a bit darker. So let's incorporate some of this. Not quite as dark as I thought it was going to be. But it still does add a little more contrast to the color. It does add a little more green to it. So that's nice. We'll just add a little. We won't add a whole lot to it. It does have a sparkle to it. So that does make it stand out a little more. Yeah, I really like that. Those look really nice. And once they get completely dry, and again, here's the glare. But they both have a different um, intricate design to them. So they're really cute. And I don't know how well you can see them. That one's a little harder to see, but... Uh, but they're really cute. I, th I think they're they're going to turn out to be really good. I'm going to have to let them dry. And then I may... I've got some stencils. I may actually do a little stencil work on them with maybe a gold or a white. And see how that works out. So, but anyways, um, this is my first tutorial um, on making something look old. Uh, I am really happy with the way it turned out. So once I get these done, I'll post them on another video or something and show you the final thing once they dry. Um, but anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. This is Angela at, Scrap, at um, yeah, Valley Girl Crafting. And 
we have just did our first little uh, whatever this is together. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and sending you crafty hugs until next time. Thanks for watching, guys.